This is so crazy. No, it's delicious. Mm. Destroying the hot dog. Destroying it. Hi everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here with my boy Guilherme from Real for Fun, Real for Food. We are here in the northern part of Florianopolis, the party capital of Brazil. Amazing, beautiful island, Isla Mágica. Yes, man, Ilha Mágica. We are here at Bar Titangueiras in the Sambaqui uh, region. It's in the other side of the island. Yeah. Beautiful, man, as you can see, like we're right on the beach. Really good food, off the beaten path, so a lot of people, even the locals, don't know about this place because they prefer to explore the other side of the island, like exactly. uh, Praia Mole, Joaquina. So we're gonna have an awesome, awesome afternoon. Exactly, so we are gonna eat right now, we're gonna explore this area. This is the northern side of the island. It's about a 40 minute drive from the main center. Yes. If you guys don't know about Florianopolis, it's a town slash island huge island huge you need at least at least 48 full hours here we have three nights so we're exploring as deep as we can we're not just diving into beaches we're going to eat we're gonna explore different areas of the of the island and yeah we're here it's a it's like a virgin beach right this is like a yeah. fisherman area very exclusive very exclusive and we're going to this place right here Pitangueras. Pitangueras. It's Pitangueras. the name of a tree. They have the fruit they call pitanga. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know what we're gonna eat. We're gonna eat some stuff though. I'm gonna try some fruit. Some shrimp probably. We are in the land of the shrimp. Let's go. Let's go. Boa tarde, boa tarde. Tudo bem? I love it. The restaurant is right on the top of a small cliff looking over this fisherman beach. They have a terrace. Oh, very nice. Let's eat some shrimp. Check this out, beautiful terrace, loving it. So we have like 20 tables out here. We have a few inside, it's still open air though. There's no, well there's windows over here, but this is open right here, very nice. So we have the beach, across from us we have the skyscrapers of Florinopolis town. We also have an oyster farm right here in front of us. Incredible. Who do you know has been here? No one. Uh, just some local people, right? Yeah. Some local people, for sure. And tourists that know the locals that take them here, right? Gingibre tem com butchá, com com divne. Oh wow! So my friends here at this restaurant have cachaça, but so many different ones, like a dozen. And this one is como é? Butchá. Butchá. Posso provar? Sim. Pequeno. Here we go. Try another cachaça. Hmm. É forte, but pero é forte, mas Un po dolce, no? Like it's a little sweet. Yeah, so this is this has definitely been aged in barrels. Fogo. <laughs> it's like straight fire, dude. We had to order a dozen oysters. There's an oyster farm right in front. Even though we had oysters in the south of the island, we have to have it again in the north. I can eat them all day. They're delicious. We am just like this, regular with lime. That is it, add some Tabasco, perfect. Muy bom, no? Pretty amazing stuff. This town has its own brewery and they have an IPA. And obviously, I gotta show you their beer. Really cool, so it's Cervejeria Sambaqui, which is a town, and it's Lola La Palani. American IPA, 7.5%. Looks like amazing beer. A little cloudy, a little dark. It's more like a golden, golden ale style. Mmm, so tasty. Mmm, tastes super fruity. Slight bitterness. Nice head. Mmm, it's bon. This one's really good. Muy bon. Mmm, very nice and crafty taste. IPAs. IPAs are a hit thing in the States now. And uh, I enjoy it. I just don't like it when it's too bitter, like too hoppy. This one's just right, nice and light, you know? 7.5 is not light in terms of alcohol, but light in terms of like how, how it feels in your body, right? Sometimes you drink a beer and it just feels full. This one, no, this one feels good. All right, friend, we have three awesome dishes. We have oysters from that farm right there. We have shrimp. We haven't tried shrimp on the island yet, and they're famous for the shrimp, and we have mussels. Oh my God, how do we do this? By the time Pitangueras be 
means cherry in English. Okay. So it's full of cherries around. That's why they call Pitangueira's bar. And man, this looks delicious. Very different, you know. That's amazing. The way, the way they deep fry, right? That's the natural. Best. Natural. Natural. Yes. natural. So how do we start? What do you think? I don't know. Maybe the hot ones. The hot ones, right? The hot ones. Let's do it. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. No, nah, we're good. We're good. So it's like a, I guess like a mustard, right? Like alioli. Yeah, alioli. Actually, Dave, I was asking the waiter, where does it come from? It's not from, right in front of us. It's the uh, same place that we had the other ice cream. Mm. Yeah. Juicy. Juicy. Then we have to add some picante. Mm. Oh man, that is like habanero. Oh, but it's good. <laughs> Forever. The seafood here in front of us will blow your mind. Mm. So fresh. So fresh. They have lots of fried stuff mm. and they have lots of raw stuff, right? So the raw oysters, steamed mussels, fried shrimp. They also nice. offer like full meal here as well, like some nice fish, you know, like, mm -hmm. yeah, all types, like mahi. These are just like tapas. Soy fish. Yeah, here's tapas. We call pe pechiscos. 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 Bueno, my friend. Saúdji. Saúdji. I have my water here. So, yeah. I was okay. going to do yeah. it. Knuckle. Boom. Oh, man. Local what a meal. Beer. Our dinner's amazing. Delicious. Love yeah. it. <laughs> Can't complain. Never, never. <laughs> Delicious alioli. Mm -hmm. mm. So crunchy. Mm. So fresh. Delicioso. I'm gonna have some more of these oysters. Oyster capital of Brazil. Can't skip out. The way I usually do it is going like this. Look at this monster, man. Huge. I've never really seen the mussel like this with yeah, the seaweed. I, I, you're not supposed to eat it, man. I mean, I don't know. No. It tastes gross, man. Mm. Yeah. I don't love that. It's not my favorite thing, right? Having uh, that seaweed. Cool as hot. I mean, yeah, this is, this is like... Mmm. Hot sauce, huh? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Era muito bom. Muito bom. Did you want to try some cachaça? No. No. <laughs> I want to coffee. You want a coffee at this time? It's like no, seven no, at night. No, I'm kidding. No. The cachaça is amazing. No. And right here we have a map of Florianopolis. One question: Where are we? Here? Oh. Right there, right? Yeah, somebody. So we are here, and that's where we're staying. We were down here today. This island is huge, huge. And that's Santa Catarina. All right, my friends, we're gonna go explore the area. It's getting dark. See what else we can find. Probably some textiles. If you guys don't know, this island is famous for their textiles. Lots of artists here. You know, paintings, wood carving, uh, just craft stuff, right? More like souvenir, handcrafts, yeah, clothing. Yeah, small, just like markets, you know, little shops. Yeah, it's like really off the beaten path, you know, like just like more residential I would say not tourist at all what a quiet beautiful area look at this view just rocks small beach you have a sailboat you have the city behind you I mean it is gorgeous gorgeous they have graffiti over here but it's like more like murals very colorful Dude, I'm so happy to be up here. Yes. Okay, so we left the town because everything was closed except a few restaurants in some of these tiny, tiny villages along the waterway. Yes. Now we're crossing back south or the central part of the island and it's a highway. You have like an area where it's almost like a rainforest and you have a lot of commercial space and hotels and then more rainforest, like right here, just like a jungle. Yes. Not rainforest, forest. Yes, and now we're heading to like the most famous, uh, the most popular hot dog in Florianopolis. No way. Called hot dog do Peru. Do Peru. Do Peru means like uh, like a turkey, right? Okay. Yeah. So hot dog turkey. Yeah. So I guess it's different. No mashed it's potatoes. Different. Mashed just, potatoes. No mashed potato. All right, good. Mashed potato only in São Paulo. That's too filling for me. Yeah, but it's my favorite. But one, <laughs> one of my favorite. But so, here's a different one, different style. So hot dogs, huge in Brazil. Huge in Brazil. German influence. They love their dogs. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of hot dogs, but I like this like this sort of fusion in the way they mix it. They add different ingredients. They make it better than just a hot dog with ketchup and mustard, right? Like yeah. for me in the States, I go to the baseball game. I'll get a hot dog, some ketchup mustard, but that's very industrial, you know, frozen hot dog. Not the yes. best thing. This is a little different. This is a little more, a little more cleaner. Yes. Right? I guess yes. you could say cleaner. <laughs> yeah, it's not my favorite uh, thing either, but I think it's important to, to try, you know? Yeah. All right, let's go. Experience like street food. We're like 25 minutes away. Again, the island's huge. Yeah. Long drives. Traffic. Long drives. You, yes, always long drives. I'd say if you want to explore this island correctly, four days. Yeah. Take, oh, it, yeah. take it slow, At enjoy. Least. Right? At least. At least. We haven't even seen a beach yet. No, we've That's seen it. That's crazy. Very soon. Uh, it's in another like small town called San Jose, but people still consider it Florianopolis, you know? It's kind of like Florianopolis County. Yeah, it's a very popular in the city. Everyone, you know, everybody recommend it and it, it seems that it's very good. It's actually not on the island of Florianopolis. You have to cross the bridge to the mainland and it's an extra like five minutes on top of that, right? If you don't have a car in Florianopolis, you won't be able to get around, no way. It's a it's a must. Rent a car. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So we arrived, and we were like, "What happened? Where is it?" He's like, "Oh no, it's on the way." And we see it just crossing the street, and yes. here it is, hot dog du Peru. It's 1993. Another hot dog. This is our third hot dog. Yeah. We had one in Sao Paulo, one in Curitiba, and now our third in Florida. So we're gonna have another one probably in Porto Alegre and in Rio, right? Yes. Lots of hot dog in this street. <laughs> He's saying we're hungry, we're hungry. Oh, fome. Oh, fome. So I'm getting a hot dog with everything. What are you getting? Yeah, everything is the same. Everything. Yeah, usually it comes with two sausage, but we decided to order just one one sausage. Okay. Small. Small, yeah. Yeah, yeah and here the theme, and they have their special uh, sauce, and they also put cabbage. Perfect. So that's their style, Santa Catarina style. Okay? Yeah, Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Buon night. Buon night. Everything good? Hey. 
Love this, guys. Yeah. We are in the truck. They have all the different ingredients here. You have corn, green peas, cheese, like fritas, tiny french fries, cheese, mayo, tomato. You have the hot dogs. And the hot dogs are actually garlic and garlic and onions and herbs. Looks phenomenal. Can't wait. Okay. Yeah, it, it, I'm, I'm impressed, man. The size of the uh, the truck. Uh, three stations, right? So like three guys here, man, in charge to make all the sandwich, you know. And it's cool that they take delivery, they take takeaway. So it's kind of like this side of the road's kind of like a, a drive-through, right? Pretty awesome. So it's fast. Look, he's already building one. Yeah, look. Let's eat. Oh, fun. Oh, fun. Like he said, they have non stop orders. They have like Uber Eats, delivery, takeout. I mean, non stop. They just keep going. These guys are non-stop. This is nuts. I, I couldn't even keep up with him. We just kept going so, so fast making these hot dogs. All right, so here's our food. Let's eat. Look at this massive hot dog. Huge. I can't even believe this. <laughs> so they put lots of different things, but they layered mayo. And then on top of that, they put like cheese. I think there's also like small little french fries, right, the fritas? Yeah, yeah, we call batata palha. Batata palha, look at this. Tem queijo ralado não, né? I can't wait to eat this. Let's eat street food. Mm. Oh, combination here. Nice white cheese. Mm. The bun. Just one hot dog. Just one hot dog, yeah. yeah. We didn't want to get two. Usually they put much. two or three, mm -hmm. depending on the size. Mm. Oh wow. Corn, mayo, cheese, fritas. I think it's some tomato here, some onions. This is so crazy. Oh, it's delicious. Mm. Destroying the hot dog. Destroying it. Oh, it's so big. They're falling apart. Delicioso. Delicioso. Oh, he me yore. It's so big. Mm. Oh man. Very different from the other hot dogs we had. Curitiba it was lighter. In Sao Paulo, it was really heavy because of mashed potatoes. This one's just right. It's crunchy. It's not spicy at all. It's a little creamy, fluffy. The hot dog is the hard thing though. You don't even see the hot dog in here. There it is. Delicious. Mm. I'm very full. <laughs> you spent two minutes eating this hot dog. I ate it so fast. Mm. Wow. Amigo. Obrigado. Muito obrigado. Muito obrigado. Mm -hmm. Delicious. A vez eu fui falar pro argentino chora na cabeça, ele, ele entendeu, mané. Ele é, ah, chora na cabeça, né? Obrigado. 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 Friends. Obrigado. Vou botar, vou botar. Wow. Também. I think that's it, right? For the night? Yes. I think we're done, guys. Oh, we're done. We're done. We had an awesome, awesome early dinner. We tried mussels, oysters, shrimp. Amazing spot up in the northern part of the island. It's not all the way north, but it's like almost at the very tip yes. of the island. Yes. In a small town, we also tried their beer. They had a beer from that town, which is pretty amazing that they actually have a brewery there. 
and then we drove through the island we saw a little bit i mean it got dark but we saw you know what the city's about it's pretty big the city's big no it's huge man it's, it, huge. it's over a million and a half a million and a half yeah. wow just in that city it's quite big I, I have to check but over a million easy easy okay yeah way over one million and then we came over here to hot dog do peru they have more locations though right eight locations eight locations eight lo man the guy started like in 93 like what? riding his bike in one, only one foot truck nine kilometers now man like 17 years later no uh 27 years later a location a location hey, he's doing really well it's amazing yeah the, it was an amazing hot dog really filling but i love all the different flavors and textures yeah. it was like creamy crunchy fluffy and then you have the hot dog and the hot dog isn't just any ordinary hot dog it's been like like basically like almost like baking garlic yeah uh, that was garlic right yeah, yeah. The, the main difference here I man is the cabbage salad the yeah. cabbage and uh they kind of like shrank uh, like a uh, colonial cheese exactly very different it's not industrial you know awesome you, you can taste it's different it's nice well guys that was our tour i hope you enjoyed it we are going to sleep but if you love this video please give me a thumbs up comment, me below. comment below and subscribe to the channels for more awesome travel food content my man Thank you. Oh, I'm stuffed. That hot dog hit the spot. Me too. Good night. Good night. <laughs>